got it. No tears, no tears. <laughs> and crying is for babies. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have a special guest with me, obviously, right here. Kaylee Melissa. Hi guys. Um, if you don't know her, she is an amazing YouTuber. I'm gonna link her below. She's also a wonderful friend of mine. Aww. We go way back. We're so far back, before right? I was married. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> and today, you guys, when you're watching this, today I am actually finally getting married. James and I will be on Maui tying the knot. Kaylee will be there with me um, as a friend and also to do my hair. So yeah. what we're doing today is the test run. I'm going to let you work your magic. I'm so excited. I'm like a chill bride. I'm like, do whatever. Just She is, actually. Please. I had to force her to give me some ideas of what she'd like. Because I know that you'll do a good job. So I'm like, just whatever. Put some flowers in it. Make it look pretty. I'm good. You're going to get the step-by-step -step instruction on how I'm going to be wearing my hair for the rehearsal dinner, which will be up, and for the day of, which will be more romantic and down. And I need to stop talking because I'm going to start crying right about now. So yeah, let's just hop into all that is uh, the hair. Yes. All right. Let's do let's it. Do it. So Tati and I talked about having glamorous but effortless hair. I think you guys know Tati well enough to know that she wants curls. Yes. I mean, I can't imagine you without them. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna try to go for a little bit of like a looser princess wave because that's what she was telling me she wanted. I'm gonna use my ride or die T3. This is the twirl convertible, I think. Um, and this is their one and a quarter inch size. Everything around her face, I'm going to curl away from her face. And then I'm going to change which way I curl the hair. So that way it's not too prommy and all curled the same direction. And it will have a little bit more lift and body to it. And I'm going to try to not fall asleep because whenever someone plays <laughs> with my hair, I'm just like. <sighs> I'm using the Schwarzkopf Crystal Shine and Hold Heat Protection Shine Spray because they believe in paragraph long names. Mm. I'm a really big fan of it. It's It smells good. I it, mean, that's what I can tell from over here. It does smell really good. It's very strong, um, but it smells like a fragrance, which I mm -hmm. like. So I'm actually going to keep the clamp open and wrap her hair around, and then I'm going to close the clamp. That just adds a slight amount of twisting, and it's actually going to give it a little bit more of a natural look to the wave instead of being that like prom curl. Then I'm going to clip it up to cool because we're going to be playing with the hair a lot. Have you seen um, Singing in the Rain? No. Very old movie. Um, I'm singing in the rain. That's how much I know of that. That's not even the two. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. It's, you really did. It's okay. But we should, if you like musicals, we should watch it I sometime. love musicals. I can't believe I haven't seen that one. Yeah. So it's about transitioning from silent film to film uh, or to with sound. And one of the actresses in one of the scenes can't get the idea that she has to talk in one direction so the mic can pick her up. So she mm -hmm. keeps talking like this and moving her head. Oh, gosh. And um, so the sound comes up with you can only hear like two or three of her words. That's what I feel like right now because I keep walking around and like moving my head too much. It's okay. It's YouTube. Everybody forgives you. <laughs> they either forgive you. People are so understanding. Or they hate you. <laughs> it's just this one. Just the one curl we're waiting on. You should stick your head in the freezer. I've done that before. I know, I heard you talk about that in one of your videos and then I went and did it. <laughs> it works. <laughs> so now I've taken these curls down. They're all nice and cool and fluffy and beautiful. Okay, so now for some Oribe. Did use that at the root, then maybe add a little bit of teasing. We do want lift, especially because the rest of the hairstyle is going to have volume, so you want to balance that on top or else it just makes everything look really flat on top. So I'm just teasing a little bit here at the base. With teasing, I like to start with more is better and then work it down because it's kind of a pain to have to go back in and do it again. And then one trick that I like to do is I go back with a pointy end of a brush or a rat tail comb and I just kind of pretend like I'm drawing a few little lines. I'm going to start by pulling back um, a section from this side of her face. This is her bang side that kind of frames her face a little more over to sweep it and then we'll anchor it on this side. So that's going to create a twist that follows the side of her head and we're just going to secure that with an elastic. 
So now that I've got it here, I'm actually gonna topsy tail it a couple times. So we're just gonna flip the elastic over and that's gonna create a nice pretty twist right here. And then I'm going to do it again for more of a twist. I like the tightness because it shows up against her dark hair more, but I'm gonna go in and just use my thumb and index finger to gently pull on this. Just kind of make it a little bigger. We're gonna create another one that kind of comes down here. I'm trying to pull together a story with these kind of like twists across her head so that your eye has something to follow, but it's not like super perfect and super placed. Okay, so now I'm gonna basically do the same thing on this side. So I've taken a large piece of hair from my next to her face. I've checked out what I want to leave down and what I don't. And so I'm just gonna sweep this back and kind of find the place on her head that I want it to be. I know that I want it to be a little bit farther down because up here, I feel like it gets a little cheesy. So we're gonna pull it a little farther down here and then we're gonna find our anchor piece, which is basically any piece of hair I can grab and then put those together and secure them with an elastic. Elastic number two is done. So we're gonna topsy tail it again by flipping the hair up and towards her head. And I'll probably just go back through here and massage it just to kind of open it up a little bit more and loosen it up some more. Another thing that's helpful with twists is to take a bobby pin and put it through the twist as if it's a tunnel. It helps little flyaways to keep from falling out. It also gives you a little bit of tension if you want to keep pulling the twist apart because it makes it easier to pull it apart and make it a little bigger. It also just anchors it in the head where you want it. So it does a lot of things. Very, very helpful just to add a bobby pin in here or there. I don't like the twist idea where it's just doing too much. It's it's not sitting well with me. So I'm gonna break it up with a braid to see how that works. We're experimenting, it's what trials are all about. And if you watch my tutorials, you know this next step is obligatory. I am pulling and massaging the braid apart to make it bigger and more voluminous. I don't think I've done a video without doing this in a very long time. All right, so now I'm actually gonna take this braid and put it through this elastic that we did before. So I'm just putting it through the twist so that it kind of hides the previous elastic and goes right into this twist and then down the bottom. So it creates a nice little bit of texture and flow in the hairstyle. <laughs> and then to secure the end of the braid, I'm just going to grab like half the hair from the braid. So I've got it all right here. I'm gonna grab the half that is kind of against her head so it's gonna hide. I'm gonna put that in an elastic and then the rest of the hair that's not in the elastic will hide it from view. It's a nice way to kind of finish off your braids if you want it to look like it ends naturally, um, but you don't want your braid unraveling. Here you go, see, so the braid just kind of disappears and you can't even see where it ends. I think it's pretty. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm not mad at you liking it. It's the longest veil ever. You guys are gonna love it when you see the full thing. Oh my gosh. All right, so now through editing magic, we are going to whip into the updo, which Kaylee will be doing for me for the rehearsal dinner. Yeah. So one of the things I wasn't as happy with last time was the volume on top. So I can't go back and like blow dry it and get the volume that I want, but I can use a little bit of this. This is the Osis Dust It Texture. Uh, it's a texturizing powder. It's like a liquid or a powder to liquid formula. It works really, really well. It's very effective, but I mostly recommend it around the root because it can get pretty sticky. So I want to get the volume on top all ready to go. And because the updo is actually going to be hitting right around here at the highest point, um, and these layers are kind of short, I'm actually going to go ahead and pull them and shape them where I want them before I put anything else into the situation. Things are getting a little wild. <laughs> For the back, I'm actually going to do a French pull-through braid that comes across this way. They're actually pretty easy to do. You've probably seen them on Instagram, but going across sideways gives it a new cool look and you can get tons of volume out of it. So we start off with two ponytails and I'm leaving some hairs out around her face. Those I will either pin back or leave down later. So normally in a pull-through braid, you would leave this very first ponytail in an elastic because I want this to look effortless and not have like a significant line. I take this elastic back out 
and I'm going to split this section in half and take it around the elastic that you see here. So top half comes over this way, bottom half comes under this way, and then I'm just going to move this elastic out of the way. Then you're going to pick up your new hair, so the French portion of the pull through braid. Just grab a section and pull those pieces that we took around together. I'm also going to make sure that they've come back nicely because we're going to pull it apart in a second. So once you've got everything where you want it, just take your elastic and secure it in place. And then you reset and you have your two ponytails again and it starts all over. So you split the first ponytail in half and take each half around the second one. So top half over, bottom half under, move this out of the way, pick up some new hair and put it all together. Again, if you want more in depth, I really do recommend watching a full video on this because it's very easy, but you have to get the idea down. Now, when you pull in the new hair, that is again, anchoring the hair into the hairstyle. So you want to make sure that you're picking it up at the right height. So I'm going like an inch or two below these bobby pins. So you don't want it to be all the way down here. You don't want it to be all the way up here. You know, just keep that in mind as you're doing this. And then you do want to get it closer into the scalp because when you pull it apart, it is going to pull away a little bit. And if you start out already kind of far away, you're just going to end up with a mess. So keep it in a little tighter as well. So now we finished the pull through braid. It's very pretty, but it's much lower than I want it to be. To be the updo and to frame her head, I want it to kind of hit up here a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is both pin these very top bits of the pull through braid up to her head. But I'm also going to kind of go in here in the center and kind of lift and pin in there as well. And I think between those two things, we should have this nicely framed. And then we have a nice little side ponytail going on here that I get to decide what to do with. I'm thinking another braid. Okay, so I want to sweep this piece back so that it just glides in and looks like it's part of this braid. So I'm actually going to tuck it right through this part of the pull through braid, very gingerly. <laughs> and then I'm going to pin it underneath. See how this little loop goes right here? We'll pin it to follow the loop and then just hide the rest of it underneath everything. Ooh, <laughs> Ailey. I know, I like it so much. Oh my gosh, love it. Yes, yes, so much yes. This is just like a rough look at it because yeah. it's not perfect, but and this is the trial. I'm excited to see it on the final day. I know. So when you guys are watching this, we will be on Maui having a great day and my hair will be done and you guys will have to check out what the actual finished result will be. I'm sure I will be posting a ton on Instagram and all of that good stuff. Also, make sure that you expand the description box. Go subscribe to Kaylee. She will also uh, teach you how to do other cool hairstyles, but what is the braid called? It's called a pull through braid. Pull through braid. I need to like go and teach myself how to do that as well. So I'm gonna link that video also. And other than that, thanks for hanging out with us and more wedding madness will continue tomorrow. You guys will get a peek at what my makeup is gonna be like. So I hope to see you again. All right, thanks for watching guys. Mwah.